Hello, I'm John Umbler, the Acting Chief Executive of the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority. I'm talking to you today from Victoria Square on the Avon River. The uh, Victoria Square has been uh, subject to a lot of discussion in recent times. There are many and varied ideas about what the future for this place should be. While there are many ideas already, we're keen to hear more and from next month, March, there will be an opportunity for wider public engagement and ideas for the future of this place. Behind me you'll see the Bowker Fountain. It is one of the uh, parts of the square which was formerly uh, full of water and coloured lights and is no longer so. What is the future for this? What is the future for Victoria Square? We need to get your ideas next month. Car parking is another big issue at the moment and while we're trying to make the city friendly for pedestrians and cyclists, coming into the central city in the car is still going to be an important thing and it's important that adequate car parking is provided. Sarah and the Christchurch City Council are working closely together to match demand and supply both in the short and in the longer term. The Christchurch City Council has funding set aside in its three-year plan to replace damaged car parks in both Manchester and Litchfield streets. Of course there's also a role for the private sector and at the Crossings car park near the bus interchange there is a car park planned which will cater for up to 534 car parks. We'll continue to work closely with the Christchurch City Council to ensure that car park needs are met. These are exciting times for Christchurch. We've seen the opening of the Cricket World Cup. We're now seeing the Cricket World Cup in full swing. As well as this, coming up we have Tamatatini, the Kapahaka Festival with an expected 30,000 people, 5,000 from outside the city. And following that we have the FIFA Under 20 World Cup. Lots of exciting things happening in Christchurch and showing New Zealand and the world that Christchurch is indeed open for business. You can read about these things and many more in the future Christchurch update which will be delivered to your letterbox in the next week or so. This is a joint publication between the Christchurch City Council and the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority. Thank you very much for watching. Hope the Black Caps do really well in the World Cup and I'll talk to you again in another month.